I got this invitation from Pete Heineck maybe a year and a half ago, two years now. I, I, I was thinking uh, that uh, I come from a place that his, his history is being written. He, and I never saw my relation to the old world. I only thought of, of my people as old immigrants come from the old world. And now that we are trying to build a new one. He, uh, the sculpture I came to do, the Fuck Off Project, Safe Area, number 11 basically translated what the old world would think of my new ideas. I'm mostly in a defensive mode where I'm from. I'm mostly trying to cover my ass, if you want to say. I'm, I'm mostly trying to protect my people, my, my zone, my, my loved one. But in Mexico, this is part of the news. This is part of the, the conversation and, and the table. So what I was looking for was basically to create a system of protection, a system of security that would permit me to feel defended, that would permit me to feel protected. I tried to create a, a sculptural system that using geometry I could build this protective layer around myself. And this protective layer, I mean, this coraza, this, this uh, 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 armor. The same way we build armor around ourselves without even knowing it. I put a wall in it because drywall studs are a real material we use in contemporary life to create barriers. Man. And I once uh, hired a man to put a new wall in my studio and I started seeing him create the wall. And he was basically, he was weaving the materials found close to him to create space, to create protection. And I found in his drywall technique the, the, the ability to do it by myself around me. And this is what I do with the steps I take during the Fuck Off project. I use pentagons and hexagons and I use gravity and I use a, a little bit of human brute force. And at the end of the day, we create an extension of our being. But this extension of our being eventually affects other people's existence. If other places where I have put this e sculptural installation, like Russia, China, Mexico, the States, they all look different at it, depending on what they have in their own background. Yeah. In Mexico, this is a weapon. This is a security system. In the United States, this is a weapon. In China, this was political might. In Russia, this was about pure power. Here, it has been about love of labor. It has been about how labor basically creates everything else. Something that where I am from isn't even valued. We think labor is free sometimes. So this relationship with my 40 day stay here in, in, in Eindhoven, in the Netherlands, has totally blown my mind in the sense that I thought this type of dialogue didn't exist in the world. I thought it was something that was only put in books, was only kept in archives, and it wasn't a, a live or a living conversation. And I see it is a living conversation. So, I want to see what happens with my art production after I download these feelings onto it. Because here, what I have brought is just the feelings I had from the New World border I come from. I come from a place where my great-great-great-grandfather was born in Santa Barbara, California, Mexico. So California used to be Mexico. The border was a little bit higher north. Where I am from, the border is, is, is one of the biggest construction projects there is. We have lived in the border forever. We see how the border goes into the ocean. We see how stupid it looks when the, when the walls are crashing on, on, on the fence. We see how the surfers look for the best wave on the north and the south side. We see how nature really doesn't care about hum, human stupidity and will find a way through the border. We see how the market creates tunnels under the border. To, to, to create billion dollar markets of anything you want. We see how a fifth of Mexicans population is, is, lives across the border. 
recently we see how the United States lost a hundred billion dollars because they're trying to scare Mexicans. So Mexicans aren't, aren't traveling to the States for their vacations anymore. And they are revaluing their own places without having to be verified at the border. So I think this new visualization of, 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 of the Trump wall is really at the end will become like the battle ram we will use to tear that shit down. Walk around the street at night in Tijuana. I have fond memories of it because that is a fun part of my city. But I would say to leave my wife in Mexico, I'm paying for policemen to protect the neighborhood I live in. But I have much to lose if something happens like that. This I don't think people feel or realize here. Here I am riding on a bicycle that uh, would be impossible to do where I am from. Uh, I am totally free every night. I go out at noon, little bit midnight to ride. I don't feel that, that there are uh, uh, evil men trying to mug me. I don't feel that something bad is going to happen. I, uh, I am totally free. I, I think outdoor life, public life, uh, community life, is different in a place where the system takes better care of you, where you trust the system, where the system is accountable for its actions. So we are from a place where the system harms and where the system doesn't take care of you. Family is your only social security you have. Where I am from, the weak get crushed. Here I feel that the weak get helped. Looking at the place where I uh, am spending my nights, at the Langhoed Grotebeck. Langhoed Grotebeck. It's a, a mental institution that makes me feel at home. And when I say that, it is because the program that I, I think I am part of voluntarily there is about helping people become more human. It tries to habilitate them again or rehabilitate them again. It doesn't throw them away. It doesn't crush them. It doesn't destroy their... Or it, or what I see, it doesn't try to destroy their self-worth. It tries to build it up. It tries to find a place in society for them. And for us, and that is what I mean by, by, by social security. I don't mean getting paid for just by existing. I mean getting a chance, getting an opportunity, getting a, a place to prove yourself. So, so living at the Grotebeck for the past months, he has showed me a sense of compassion, but not of compassion, of pity, but of, of a compassion of, a, of complicity, if you want to say. Being complicit to others means you know that you aren't alone in society, that society is a place for everybody. That, to me, is something that is almost a treat to see here, man. But now, with this old man Trump trying to, to create fear in the people from the Northeast United States and also from the, from the Central United States, where they don't even have borders. Hate that is spilled out of this, this hate monger's mouth is only showing everybody else who built America that they have to grab their own history and they have to prove their own, they have to prove that they belong in a place that says they don't. I repeat, everybody in the Americas is descendant of old immigrant scum. And these old immigrant scum built a much better life than they had before they left the old world. Built a much better life based on their work and on their human value. Human capital is probably one of the most precious things we can find. And if we start to, to deny it, we are taking away this bit of humanity that in this part of the world they have fought and died too much to value it, you know.